SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics is a great image format to use on a website. It's very small in size, it's infinitely scalable to any size you want, and it has great image quality at every given size. So you should be using it on your website, right? Well, there's only one problem. If you drag and drop an SVG file on your WordPress website like this, you'll get an error like this because WordPress does not natively support SVG files out of the box. So in this video, let's fix that. Let's enable support for SVG files on your WordPress website in this video. Let's go. Now, typically, if you want to add any feature to your WordPress website, all you have to do is go to the plugin section, go to add new, find or add some keywords and find a plugin that'll give you the functionality that you're looking for. Exactly same thing happens when you search for SVG in the plugins directory and you find tons of plugins that will provide you the SVG support that you're looking for. However, I would not recommend any of these solutions even though they will work perfectly fine. Why is that? Let me explain. SVG support inside WordPress is not a matter of can't, it's a matter of won't. What this means is that WordPress does have the ability to support SVG files. They specifically have disabled or disallowed this feature for some particular reasons, which I'll talk about later in this video. So make sure to watch till the end. Now, what does this mean for end users like you who just want to enable the SVG support on your website? The answer is that you don't need to add the functionality using a plugin. You just need to tell WordPress, hey, WordPress, I want to use SVG files on my website please enable the functionality. And technically all of these plugins will do the exact same thing. They won't add the functionality, they'll just enable the functionality. Now you might be wondering, WordPress is not my best friend who will just listen to me if I say the words, enable SVG support, how do I communicate with WordPress? And the answer to that is using code snippets. So in essence, all you have to do is add a little bit of code snippet to your WordPress website, which is easy, I promise, and not have to install a plugin which you'll have to manage, update, and keep track of. How do you do it? Let me explain now. So what we're going to do is instead of editing our WordPress files manually and adding the code snippet there, which can work, but it's tricky and risky for beginners because they can make errors. We're going to install a plugin on our site, which will help manage and add code snippets on our site. And now you might be wondering, Yuvraj, you were just suggesting not to have the SVG plugin, but now you're saying let's install another plugin. What's the matter? Well, let me explain. The SVG plugins that I was recommending you not install will all just add a small bit of functionality to your site. And of course, you can also use the code snippet that I'm going to show you to have that functionality on your website already. But the ability to manage and add code snippets on your website is a much more powerful and much more useful functionality that you should have on your website. Because let's say today you want to add SVG support to your website, but tomorrow you might want to add another code snippet to your site for let's say example, a marketing pixel from Google Analytics, from Google Search Console, Pinterest, Baidu, any other marketing platform. And then you might want to add another custom functionality to your site and maybe another, or you want to might have add the Facebook pixel to your site. All of these functionalities and many, many more functionalities will require you to have the ability to add code snippets on your site. And as a beginner, if you have to edit your WordPress files all the time, just to add these functionality can be very risky. That's why it's worthwhile to have a dedicated plugin on your site that helps you add and manage code snippets on your site. I hope that explains. Let me explain now how will we add the code snippet and which plugin I'm going to recommend. So, what I want you to do is go to your site, go to plugins, go to add new and search for a plugin called WP Code. This is the plugin we'll be using. It has 1 million active installs, tons of five star ratings, it's a fantastic plugin. And this plugin has a bit of an extended functionality. This is gonna be, or which is gonna be very, very useful. So let's install the plugin first, activate it, and I'm gonna explain what that specific functionality is. So WP Code is now installed on the site. And now we have the ability to add code snippets and manage them on our website. And now you might be wondering, Yuvraj, where is the code snippet that we want to install, right? We'll need to have the code snippet for us to paste the code snippet. Well, this is where WP Code makes it really, really easy and interesting. If you go to WP Code's code snippets here, or you can even use this menu, you'll see this is where you manage the code snippets. There are a couple of snippets already demonstrated or added for demonstration. They are disabled, by the way. These are not enabled. But if you go to add new, the ability or where you'll add snippets, you'll see that apart from having the ability to just add a blank code snippet, this, you have, or WP Code gives you tons of different code snippets already created for you that you can just install on the site. For example, you have the code snippet for allow SVG files upload right here. You don't need to go to an external site and figure out or just experiment with a shady piece of code. It's all already created for you. For example, you also have the code snippets for complete disabling comments, disabling attachment pages, disable automatic updates, disable automatic update emails, and a different, very a lot of different functionality. Everything is already created for you. The code snippets already exist. You just have to import them on your site. For example, since this, this video is about having SVG support, we just click use snippet. And what WP Code will do is create a new code snippet for a site and add the snippet automatically. So 
This is the code snippet that's created. You see, the code snippet is already added to the site. You don't have to do anything. But you also have some additional controls that if you want to conf configure the code snippet differently, you can have uh, auto insert or short code. You can have specific pages where it runs, but right now we want to have included everywhere. You can choose device types, conditional logic. There's tons of features here. But right now, we just make it simple. We'll just enable the code snippet and see if the functionality is now working. So we'll make sure the plugin is active or the code snippet is activated. We'll click the update button. And now the snippet is updated. We can double check by going into the code snippet section and you see allow SVG files upload is now added and it's also enabled. So technically now SVG file should work on the site. Let's test that theory. Let's go to media. Let's go to add new. I'm going to drag the same plugin or same SVG file that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Let's drag and drop it here and it's done. It works. So let's go to the library and check it out. So if you go to the library here, now you see the SVG file. You can see, you can see the name of the uh, file here is now added on the site and now it's looking beautiful, right? That's the benefit of having SVG files. So this is how you add the SVG functionality, but there's something that I discussed in the middle of the video that WordPress doesn't allow you to add SVG functionality for a particular reason. And that particular reason is security. Let me explain what this means. So SVG files are not technically images. They're not made of pixels. They're actually vector files made of code. Let me explain. So this is the SVG file that I just uploaded. It might look like a regular image, but it's not. It's actually made of code. And this is the code of the website, or this is the code of this exact SVG file. Yes, this SVG file is actually this piece of code. Now, this is where the problem happens. With any piece of code, there's a chance of malicious intent or malicious code making your way through the website. And that is why WordPress actually restricts SVG files in the first place. But all is not lost. You don't have to be scared and think, oh, I will not install any S or not upload any SVG file to my website because there's a potential risk. The solution is pretty simple, actually. Just treat your SVG files like you would treat your plugins or apps on your phone. Let me explain. So let's say you're browsing the internet and you reach a particular website and that particular website is offering you a plugin that you can install on your website for very small cost or absolutely free. And what they're promising is that it'll add a specific functionality that you've been looking for. But there's only a few different problems to overcome. The website that looks absolutely shady. There's no ratings, there's no reviews, there's no quality control, there's no user support forum. They don't have a particularly free version that you can install from the WordPress repository, which is a sign of trust. And you have absolutely no idea who the developer is or if any other person in the world has actually used the plugin and has gotten good results. Now, my question to you is, looking at all this information, would you install that plugin on your website? Well, I hope so that you never install that plugin on your website because you understand the risk of downloading a plugin from a shady website and installing it on your website. Similar thing you will do on your computer and your phone, right? You won't install apps from a shady developer or you would install um, uh, applications on your Mac or Windows from a website you don't trust because you understand the risks. So treat your SVG files not like images, but exactly like plugins. If you find a SVG file from a publisher, from a website, which you don't particularly trust, then don't install it on the first place. So all you have to do is treat your SVG files exactly how you treat plugins for your WordPress website, apps for your phone or your computer. Make sure that the source of the plugin or the file or the application or the SVG file is trustworthy and you will have no problems whatsoever. There are tons of trusted websites where you can download SVG files and different assets for your website. And of course, WordPress has its open works project as well, which is a collection of 600 million creative works that you can download and use on your website as you please. So that's how you add SVG support on your website while keeping your website safe as well. If you learned something new, hit the like button. If you loved the video, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, then the comment box is open. My name is Yuvraj and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.